Good morning. This is Greg at the Pocatello National Weather Service office with the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. Other weather impact summary today. Uh, it's going to be a continuation. Uh, moist southerly monsoonal flow continues, and we're going to have isolated potential for flash flooding. I think the main threat's going to shift east today and be in the eastern highlands. I think that's where the heaviest rain will occur today. We expect drying on Tuesday, and then another system will bring some isolated to scattered thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday, more likely on Thursday with the cold frontal passage. And we expect some breezy conditions Thursday and Friday with cooler temperatures on Friday. And here is the satellite loop for today. Again, extensive cloud cover over Idaho. Again, this is going to be the last day we're going to have the extreme moisture content. It's going to begin to dry out tomorrow. So again, with this southerly flow, high moisture content in the area, we expect thunderstorms to develop once again today with uh, those producing heavy rains where they do fall. Here's the weather impact overview. Again, at least minimal impacts everywhere with thunderstorms and some flooding potential as well in most areas. And by tomorrow, uh, much less, uh, again, mainly some eastern highlands lingering stuff on Tuesday. Uh, some isolated thunderstorms, more widespread Wednesday, and then especially on Thursday as a cold front moves through, we expect uh, more widespread thunderstorms and some breezy conditions in the Snake Plains, southern highlands. And should be breezy in those areas Friday as well behind the cold front with some lingering thunderstorms in the mountains. And here are the flash flood watches today. Again, covers all the central mountains into the upper Snake Highlands through the eastern southern highlands. Again, valleys could be susceptible, especially in the eastern mountains. We'll see the most rainfall today. And those are in effect through 9 p.m., uh, as the system finally pushes through, we'll probably be able to expire those tonight. And here's a quick look. Again, this is generalized precipitation amounts. Again, most areas we'll see at or below this level, but some areas we'll see, look again, like several of the storms produce over an inch of rain, uh, the stronger ones this afternoon. And again, generally the highest amounts will be in the eastern highlands. And tonight, the rainfall, again, mainly limited to the Upper Snake Highlands. Rexburg through Island Park is the corridor of where we think the heaviest rainfall will occur. And then amounts Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, very light. We expect much drier air to move in and only a couple hundreds uh, through Wednesday. High temperatures today, again, with the extensive cloud cover, precipitation, we are expected to be remaining well below normal highs in the 70s to low 80s. And then with the drier conditions Tuesday, we expect a pretty good warm-up. Temperatures getting back into the mid to upper 80s and low elevations and mid-70s to 80s in the mountains. And even warmer on Wednesday, ahead of the next system moving through, we'll get back into some dry southerly flow. Many areas getting back into the 90s by Wednesday. And here's a look at Friday. Uh, after the projected cold front moves through, another significant cool down with temperatures back into the 70s and 80s for highs by Friday. So we're getting kind of on a merry-go-round temperature-wise. And here's an initial look at some wind gusts expected with the frontal pass. As you can see, widespread 20 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts by Thursday. And Thursday night, again, some areas getting uh, gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. And the humidity is, again, not an issue, uh, which is good for fire weather concerns. Minimum humidity is generally above 35% everywhere. Some areas won't get below 60% today. But then, as I said, we're getting much drier conditions moving Tuesday. And by Wednesday, pretty much everyone in the 15 to 30% range. Uh, not exceptionally dry, but much drier than we have been over the last week. And a quick look at the extended forecast, the 6 to 10 days, August 7th through 11th. Uh, a general upper level trough, so we have a much better chance of below normal temperatures in that time frame. But again, that looks like that's also going to change 
as looking at the 8 to 14 day, we can see the above normal temperatures starting to increase and spread on the west coast, starting to slip into Idaho in the August 9th through the 15th period. So, again, we're going to be kind of up and down temperature-wise for the next several days uh, through two weeks. So, summing up uh, the weather impacts again, more monsoonal moisture again today, some heavy thunderstorms, some will produce over an inch of rain, so the potential for flash flooding continues. I think mainly in the eastern highlands, we're going to see drying on Tuesday, and then a cold front's going to approach and return some isolated to scattered thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday, along with the cold front moving through on Thursday. Uh, pretty good breezy conditions Thursday and Friday. Many areas gusting in the 20 to 35 mile per hour range. And we do expect much cooler temperatures after this brief warm-up midweek. Uh, they should drop again on Friday. So that will conclude the briefing today. Contact us at the number listed here, 24 hours for any questions, or visit our website. Thank you, and everyone have a nice day today.